Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss uh, the question that is write YAG program to evaluate arithmetic expression involving operators plus minus multiplication and the division symbol. So as per this question it says we have to generate or we have to write YAG program which is uh, which can be used to evaluate the arithmetic expression and this arithmetic expression uh, may consist of uh, arithmetic operators that is plus minus multiplication and division okay so for example if i enter uh, arithmetic expression as 4 plus 5 then this x 4 plus 5 should be evaluated and it should give the result 4 plus 5 is 9 so for this we have to write yak program so as we know uh, if they ask you to write YAG program, we have to start with the LEX program because uh, output of the LEX program are tokens and these tokens are fed, fed into the YAG program and then it continues with the execution. So let us start with the LEX part. As you know, it consists of uh, or it starts with the declaration where we can include uh, header files and also variables isn't it so here along with stdio.h we have include y.tab.h right so this header file includes the definition of tokens as well uh, and uh, with the help of this header file we can uh, pass the tokens with the values to the yak program okay and also we have declared one variable called yylval so it is a global variable which is used in lex programming as well as yak programming and this global variable holds the integer value uh, of the matched string okay and uh, next uh, after declaration rule sections uh, should be written rule section should be written as per the question uh, in the rule section we have to write the regular expression which We should write regular expression where this arithmetic expression should be evaluated or arithmetic expression should be checked okay so for that uh, we can write the regular expression in this way where uh, 0 to 9 the range followed by uh, 0 to 9 right within the character class we have written 0 to 9 followed by 0 to 9 and this is followed by star that means uh, this regular expression says single digit is allowed or two digits are allowed right the star indicates zero or more times if this is zero then any one digit can can be referred right so when this regular expression is encountered then what is the respective action should be taken for this right so here we can see y by l val is equal to a to i of y y text which means the matched string the string which matches with regular expression is stored in the variable y y text and this is uh, this should be converted to integer that is ascii to integer and stored in in the uh, variable y by l val and this will be written to the YAC program and the, the, uh, the token written to the YAC program the name is given as ID okay and then uh, our uh, arithmetic expression uh, may include any one, any one of the operators right plus minus multiplication and division so in the character class we should write in the same order plus uh, minus plus multiplication and division so if any one of this operator is encountered in the input then what action need to be taken so the matched uh, string should be uh, passed to the yak okay and next we have also checked the new line character when this is encountered written to the uh, yak i mean written zero and next the dot operator represents as you know uh, match any other token and return return that token so that is what this dot operator says and this this is ended with uh, percentage percentage okay 
once we have the legs part next we will continue with the ayak part again this consists of same uh, three section uh, declaration then followed by uh, rules where the production rule is written and followed by the main function so here in the uh, declaration we include header file and this should be followed by the uh, token that we are uh, taking from the lex part right so how it is uh, defined percentage followed by token word and followed by uh, the name of the token that is id right so next it says uh, next it says the operators which we used right so here operators may be plus minus multiplication and division and these operators have left associate you right so that is specified with percentage left percentage left for plus and minus multiplication symbol and the uh, division and these symbols should be written in single quotes and this should be followed by percentage percentage which is which says this is the declaration section is end and we'll start with the rule section where in rule section we are writing the production rule right where s colon expression is written what does it mean s colon expression is uh, written for this uh, what is the action should be taken uh, uh, print result right and it is stored on dollar one then exit of zero so whenever this uh, e is uh, referred that means expression so this expression can be e plus e or you can say grammar if uh, grammar can be e plus e that means we can perform addition operation mul um, subtraction multiplication and the division if uh, addition uh, addition is our addition has to be done if addition x or the expression which involves addition operator then what action need to be taken you add those two uh, digits right dollar one plus dollar three similarly uh, next it may be minus so this uh, grammar is checked when this uh, is checked then the subtraction should be uh, calc or um, subtraction should happen and the result is stored in dollar dollar similarly for all the symbols uh, we need to check uh, i mean the grammar should be written in such a way that all conditions should be checked what if my expression is written within the parenthesis then uh, that should be also considered in the grammar and what action need to be taken that should be also written here and the last one uh, my expression can be uh, can be a simple id as well right so that uh, when id is encountered in my expression then what should be written that should be also written in the action part and this whole grammar should be or the production rule should be terminated with the semicolon right so now the question may be why this dollar dollar symbols are used right so this dollar dollar stands for semantic value of the grouping created under the respective rule okay and also uh, to facilitate easy communication between the actions and the parser okay the action statements are altered slightly hmm. so the dollar the dollar is used as a signal to the yak okay so that is all about the do uh, why the dollar symbol is used here and also to return a value i mean to return a value after this action okay so uh, it it sets to the pseudo variable dollar dollar okay so after performing particular action the result need to be stored in a uh, variable and here we call it as a pseudo variable and this value is returned to the uh, printf statement and that printf statement will be uh, printed okay after this rule section next thing is uh, c code section right so where we can see enter the expression when this expression is entered yy pass will be called and this the flow of yy pass is ex explained in the previous video okay so this yy pass will need uh, the tokens from the lex right so yy lex is invoked and this uh, provides the tokens uh, um, to the yak and this yak program will check with the grammar that is used in the yak part 
and then it will check whether the uh, given input is syntactically correct or not okay now uh, let's see how this program is executed first uh, we have to uh, write uh, the name of the Lex program or uh, an extension should be y dot dot l sorry for the um, parser or the yak program it is one dot uh, one b dot y I have taken and then compile Lex program and then compile yak program yak uh, space hyphen d space name of the yak file see when this line is executed this generates y dot tab dot h do remember when this line is executed then it creates y dot tab dot h that means uh, this uh, header file is included in the legs where the definitions of tokens are defined then only the tokens can be uh, received from the yak from the legs program okay once this is uh, compiled then compile uh, Lex uh, C code as well as Yak C code. Okay, and uh, uh, here dot I mean hyphen LL indicates link libraries. And once this is compiled with the uh, CC command, it gives you the output output file that is dot slash a dot out. So after this, enter the expression I have given here as four into five, which says uh, the value. After evaluating this expression, it gives the value that is twenty. Let's see for the another case. Enter the expression where 45 followed by the multiplication symbol. So this is an invalid expression, right? So it says it is an invalid expression. So here you can see uh, error function is included. So this uh, function will be executed when there is an invalid expression entered from the keyboard. Thank you.